All right, guys, here we go. Compound complex sentences, and this is what we need to make sure that we have um, everything to, to retake the quiz that I gave you. And having learned about the basic building blocks, the simple sentence, the compound sentence, the complex sentence, this one is going to make you mad because you're just combining a compound and a complex sentence, right? So a compound sentence has two um, independent clauses and a complex sentence has one or more dependent clauses. Remember, independent stand by themselves. They can, I can take them out of the sentence, place them, and they make perfect sense. Dependent, it relies on something else. So here we go. I'm going to give you one sentence. Um, the next video that I'm going to make, I'm going to go over the um, sentences from the quiz, or a few of them, just so we can see simple compound complex. I know you have the answers to those, but I just want to make sure that we um, can see why they are what they are. All right, so if I have a sentence like this, I'm going to look for certain things, aren't I? I'm going to look for what the main idea is, but I'm also going to look for those words that we talked about before. We're going to look for the subordinating conjunctions as a wabus words or a uh, fanboy's words. We're going to look at the commas. We're going to try and figure out where this sentence is going. So let, read the sentence first. When the governor decided our state needed to move to online learning, everyone had to change their schedules, their routines, their lives, and we might be able to flatten the curve of this surreal pandemic. Okay? So I know right now I've got the word when. That's my one of my key words. I should have a comma someplace where that part uh, ends because I can't leave a when by itself. So when the governor decided our state needed to move to online learning, there's the comma, okay? Everyone had to change their schedules, their routines, their lives, and, oh wait, here's another one of those words. That's that uh, fanboy word, right? And there's a comma in front of it. We might be able to flatten the curve of this surreal pandemic. So to make this compound complex, I have to know that I have two independent clauses and one or more dependent. I know this is going to be the start of my dependent clause because I cannot just come up to somebody and say, hey, Stevens, when the governor decided our state needed to move to online learning and then turn around and walk away. Okay, I might do that, but I, I wouldn't do that. So that is dependent. So now we have to look at the rest of the sentence. Everyone had, so here's a subject, everyone had, everyone had something to change their schedules, their routines, their lives, con then I'm going to just put that in parentheses, separate it out, it has nothing to do with my subject and my verb, but I can actually take that out of the sentence and the sentence still makes sense. Everyone had to change their schedules, their routines, uh, their lives. Now I might want to put an and there, but I don't have to because remember we know about a sentaton, so we know I don't have to put a comma there uh, or an and there. All right, so then we have and, so if I take that out, this should stand by itself too. Okay, so this stood by itself. We might be able to flatten the curve of this surreal pandemic. So can I say? We might be able to flatten the curve of this, yes. So here's my subject, uh, and then might be able, this little thing in my verb phrase, uh, to flatten the curve. So I have one dependent clause, I have one independent clause, and then I have a second independent clause. Does that meet my criteria? Two independent clauses, one, two, plus one or more dependent clauses. I've got one right at the beginning. All right, that's, that's it. I mean, I can add, again, all of this other stuff that we had, the adverbs, the adjectives, the prepositional phrases, an interjection thrown in there, but it all comes down to the nuts and the bolts, right? It all comes down to a subject and a verb. That's where we started. And this has, has those elements. I'm just combining the sentences. This is also why those commas are really important and a period at the end of the sentence. That way we know what they are, right? 
So this is a compound complex sentence. Uh, hopefully these videos have been helpful. I am going to do one more video um, with just a couple of the sentences, explain them, why they are what they are. Uh, you probably got may have gotten them right, may have gotten them wrong, uh, but I'll go over a few of them and then we will, we'll, you'll let me know when you're ready to take the uh, makeup test. Okay. Talk to y'all in a little bit.